Hey friends, what's up? Redneck Gamer here. Welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 15. Let's play on Manchester. Didn't too much. Didn't do too much off camera. I uh, just did mainly the rest of the mowing and tedding and raking, or wind rowing. I uh, did some bailing. Um, did all of the grass field back there, just back here. As you can see, no more hay laying on the field, just hay bales. And we are going to bale the big field, the big hay field, today. So let's go ahead and get over there. I probably should have tabbed through my vehicles before doing this. I'm normally pretty good at it, but <laughs> I just, I guess I just can't wait to uh, record today. You are. So apparently, you can't hire the worker for caulk on higher ground. And I'll prove that right now. For wh whatever reason, whenever it's plowed, it doesn't like to stay hired. Uh oh. Yeah, see, there it goes. So, I don't know really why. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't really know why that is. I guess it's just the way it's programmed, it doesn't recognize the plowed ground as something too spread caulk on? I don't know. Uh, I don't think I bought anything new since last time. We had a great demand for corn and barley at the country trade, so I just used the course we recorded last episode. I believe that we did that last episode. And, um, sent the Peterbilt on his way there. got nice beautiful wind rows here should provide us with enough hay to get us started uh, that's the truth right there um, as you can see we got around 30 bales already yeah that's about right that's right 30 bales I uh, just making sure it didn't the script didn't mess up and it didn't normally pretty good at it so that's okay anyway yeah, 30 bales of hay, which honestly, for this much hay that we've cut, the the size of the fields we've cut may not seem a lot, but hay is just that, I hate to say it, but it's that low yielding. It's just not that great. I know in real life you would let it grow until it's like waist high. <laughs> not, not really, but in, in pastures you'll let it grow... Uh, um, waist high, but you you let it grow a good size, and that's something I wish they would add in farm sim is, um, at least in hay fields where you plant grass, it would grow a considerable, um, considerable, a reasonable height. That way you just could get some more yieldage, and you can still cut it whenever. I think that that would be a little more realistic. Um, can it be done as a mod? Maybe? I don't know. I mean, I said a lot of things can't be done for this game as a mod, and sure enough, they've been done, so. I don't really know. I guess I don't know the engine too well. Uh, the modding engine, is, I guess I could say. How far the engine can push mods. It's pretty interesting, though. And I hope, 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 Giants releases their um, mod info uh, soon because honestly, we're I'm still getting a little bored of these mods. They're mainly conversions or reskins or rough works that don't sometimes work. And I want I want to see I want to see the 72 R pack uh, rating of a mod. That that pack was so good. I want to see, like that was the top for FS13, I want to see the top for FS15 now. That's what I'm ready for. I mean, the mods, the mods are great, don't get me wrong, the mods we have are great, that's why, I, that's why I spotlight them. Some of them, some of them I just don't get to. But, you know, just some of them are stupid. And 
don't work, right? I also, since last episode, have cleaned out my mod folder. So if we slow down here, let's go into our store, and we would have used to get a whole bunch of arrows whenever we went into the tractor mod category. It should be a little better now. I haven't tested it. I removed the gels and the four TW30 that were causing huge errors. So now that those are loaded, only thing is is the Magnum 380, and I think that's the one, not this one, but the other one, because we obviously had no errors beforehand, and we can just make sure it's not this one. If it was this one, why did I turn on beacons? We would have an error way, 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 way up here. Which we don't, so that's good. So that's how I know it's the other one in the mod folder. I'll just rip that out off camera. And then I will have a nice, clean log, which is exactly what you want. That, that's just a little uh, lesson for you guys, especially if you guys are new. Uh, maybe I'll make a video of it. Of how to keep your um, your uh, your log clean, because that's what'll mess up your game. If you guys ever have problems with the game being weird or sometimes stop working, it's probably been mod, uh, bad mod you have. So I'll, I might do a video on um, how to check that, even without having this pull up in uh, in the in game. Hang on, before I close that, I need to cast the So yeah, they're actually moving along pretty fast here. So let's get to the comments. Captain Caden AB, I believe is how you say your name. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've seen one of your comments or read one of your comments out loud. Uh, I can't remember which video it's on because the thumbnail is messed up as usual with it. I suppose it's about um, one of the times I was talking about flotation tires or tracks and I believe you know it might be the uh, case 9230 mod spotlight but he says more flotation for wet fields I think that's what I said right yeah I can't remember um, so yeah thank you for that I was I I'm almost sure I said that maybe I didn't man I can't remember now anyway <laughs> unleash airsoft says please play some CSGO if you do then I can hook you up with some with some guns and help you get started thanks for the offer but CSGO not my thing just it's a good game don't get me wrong I would definitely buy it it's definitely a good price on Steam but it's just really not my thing um, the part of, part of the reason I hate it is just because so many people play it on YouTube and on Twitch. It's just it gets it gets on my nerves. Just because it's it's overrated, to be honest. I hate to say it, but and I whenever I'm talking about games, I hate to say a game's overrated or over for the cool kids out there, over hyped up. <laughs> Or over talked about, overplayed, whatever. It's just not my thing. Maybe, maybe someday, um, when I have some leftover cash, I'll buy it and see how it is. Um, just that, those kind of games aren't my real thing, especially if they're as sold out or as um, played out as they are. So yeah, that's that's how that is. Uh, the long guy. Or long guy, 2013. Ask, can you do a mod spotlight on the tubo drive case? Um, if I can get some more, um, if I can get some more uh, little tractors like that together, I will. As of right now, it's, I don't really like making short mod spotlights, so I try and get a bunch of stuff together and then spotlight a bunch of stuff together. Uh, just it just works better for me. I'm used to recording these uh, rather long videos. So yeah. Also, if I'm talking really fast today, 
I apologize. I've been doing it all day. I'm just in a really good mood. And it's a Monday, so I'm really confused about that. I don't know. Has, has, well, you guys will be do, do, uh, seeing this mo Tuesday. But has Monday... Was Monday... A, did Monday feel like a Monday? <laughs> is the best way to ask it. Because for me, I feel good. I feel like it's a freaking Friday or Saturday, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I woke up. You know, I woke up. Was tired. Got... I did what I have to do in the morning, and I was I was awake. I was awake, with full of energy, which was really surprising. Normally, I'm slugging around, especially on Mondays. But yeah. Anyway, moving on. Um, I did want to uh, address something. This person shared the comment privately, so I would not say their name, just because I, he shared it privately, so, or he or she, uh, shared it privately, so I don't think they want their name out there. But um, they were having a problem with that snow map I reviewed and snow mod I removed, reviewed uh, a while back, and if anybody else is having problems with it, I'm not working. It may be a recent farming simulator update that just made the mod not work and the mod map not work. Because technically you're not supposed to um, have snow in um, farming simulator. And the way it was done is just a bunch of hay. Really, it's just a bunch of hay retextured. And the snow plows were basically wind rowers, if you looked at the uh, help menu. So if you're having a problem with farm sim, just probably messed it up and that's it. Um, Declan Fink makes a return. Says, sorry I haven't been around lately. My internet wasn't working at all. <laughs> I know the feeling. I know the feeling on that one, that's for sure. Um, welcome to the world of crap internet I guess and then he says sorry man but my computer does not want to take screenshots for some reason it does not work if if I if it would I could if I would I could if I I think he means to say if I could I would and he's just commenting on the um, screenshot uh, submission thing which I do want to take some time and remind you guys about I'm putting together a special video for my for our 2000 subscriber um, video basically I'm putting all all of my FS15 screenshots there first because that's how it was originally started I'm just gonna put a bunch of them together but then I thought how about I make it this is a little more interesting and make it into a subscriber special. So I want you guys to send me your screenshots via Facebook or Twitter. You can find the links to both of those in the description. And I will put them in the video. After all my screenshots are done, there's a special section just for you guys. And I'm doing it as a thank you for 2,000 freaking subscribers, which is honestly amazing. So there's still time. I'm the latest you can send them in is Friday the twelfth, I believe. Let me just check that. Um, yeah, Friday to the twelfth is the last day you can send them in, and that's just because I the, Friday night I have to upload it for Saturday, so it'll be up Saturday morning. Um, I'd say around probably between 7 and 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when you can look for that. Depends when I wake up to be honest. So that's that's something to look forward to. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I think you will. Um, Lorena Lancuba, Lancuba says you're epic. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, Hayden Miller Ooh, lag. 
Hayden Miller says you should use Bandicam for recording and it's free. He's commenting on the last Let's Play episode. Um, I am. Oh, well, I'm not. I found I found out how to record using OBS, which is something I wanted to do a long time ago, a really long time ago. Because Fraps sucks. Fraps, the CPU usage it takes, or how much it takes out of your frame rate. Like I, I can run this. Look, okay. Well, this isn't a good area to explain it. Oops. Let's get away from the farmyard. Let's go. Like right now, on this on a map this size and detail, I get about 20 frames a second. It's not, it, it's not great, but it's, it's good. I can run this game just fine. You can sort of tell it in the video, but not really. And um, when I'm recording with OBS, right now I probably get be be getting around 15 frames a second. So just just to show you the difference. Um, OBS just is way better. And the file size with Fraps is huge. It would take so much space up. So I'm definitely... Um, and I have to thank Phoenix Feather for um, actually officially recommending it. Um, he recommended it and then I tried it and then it was very easy to set up. So thanks for the recommendation, Phoenix. I really do appreciate it. You guys should check him out as well. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, what do we need to do? We just finished bailing, so we gotta pick the bales up. Here we are. Let's, you know what? Let's give this a break. He mowed, he tetted, he wind rode. I think he's gonna take a break. Let's actually get this guy out. Haven't used him in forever. Drive up just a bit. Let's unhook these. We are. Let's put our front thingy up. Let's go ahead and put our front uh front thing up. Oh the front loader, that's what I'm doing. Put that off. There we are. There we are. Let's actually put this thing to use. We've been using the the two wheel drive version uh so long now. It's time to give it a break and actually use the four wheel driver version. And let's, let's, let's get some air in here. There we are. Plus, this is such a great mod, we have to drive it around. Let's go ahead and open the window. The window? The sunroof. It's a, it's a little hot here in uh, PA, so that's not where the map is based, but that's how, normally that's how I play. But I'm saying whenever it's hot where I live, that's how I'll react in game. It's just how I am. Let's go ahead and get these bales all picked up and we'll throw the first load into the mix station. And then the rest will be stacked and then just stored really. There we are. Um, did we go through all the comments? We did. And I even had the page zoomed out so it was a little hard to read and we're still out of comments to read. Let's go ahead and go here. I wanted to address a stupid mod or talk about a stupid mod I saw it was this auto stack but you could stack like 24 bales and that's I, I gotta say this that is a stupid idea because there's no telehandler in the game no front loader no nothing in the game that will reach that high and the bale physics are good and they're apparently better with the beta patch which I have yet to try so if even if you try it with a telehandler you can I think honestly I think they can only reach up 16 bales high which is how much this holds and having those ba extra bales on top without any sort of locking script would be a disaster they would just topple over 
I see no point in it. I really don't. So, whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> just, just stating my fact, my opinion on uh, some of the mods I, one of the mods I saw. That's all. You guys know me, that's how I am. Whenever there's not much to talk about, I speak my mind about mods coming out. Oh, there's a bail way up there. How did I miss that? <clears throat> there we are. Um, I did get a comment asking if I can play spin tires again. I'll be honest, I played the game a little bit um, since since my long, long, long ago spin tires episode or two. I think I did two episodes, to be honest. I think it might be one though. I think I did two, but I feel like I did one. Anyway, I used to. I uh, I the point is I recorded spin tires once or twice, put it a video up or two up. And haven't recorded it yet, and I still probably I don't know it, that game seems a little harder to commentate on. Like this, this some may argue that it's the same thing. You're driving around doing farming in this case, or off-roading in spin tires case. For me, I can find. I feel like spin tires would be a little harder to commentate over, over, and that's just simply. That's just me being me. No, 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 no. This will be interesting. Um. Where's the cell point? I think that'll be the easiest way to take care of this is uh, the cell point's over here, isn't it? Yes, let's try and get the this bail off of us. Please take it. Oh come on, I know, I know this is a fail point. Come on. Hmm. Where's the skitter? Skitter? Skiz tier. There it was. Let's just try ramming the bail off. <laughs> and this is not the fault of farming simulator bail physics. It's just me derping. You see, you can't get you can't get this in in uh, spin tires. But I do have plans to do some sort of spin tires type thing. They, I can guarantee, I can definitely promise that they will not be long uh, episodes. They will probably be around 15-20 minute episodes. Um, simply because I just don't think I would be able to talk over all that. There we go. So apparently that's not a sell point, but at least we got the bail off. There we are. Sweet. Alright. Let's go ahead and get another load. And then we can start storing them. And those bales there, I'm just going to leave there. Um, just push them into the mix station whenever, whenever I can. Got a little swervy there. Don't know what happened there. Wasn't paying any attention, I guess. Go ahead and get this. Yep. I'm trying to think of it. You know what? I can talk about school. Because everybody loves talking about school. Um, so, my last day is this week. It's actually Thursday. Uh... I think I'm going to try and stay after a little while longer. Or a little... Stay after? I'm going to try and take off sooner. 
because there's no point in going the last couple of days. Uh, only reason I will go is to say goodbye to all my friends that I can o really only see in school. Only real that's the only real reason you have to go to on the last day of school. Um, I always go on the last day of school anyway. But final exams, I have one more. That's the day you're seeing this. I'm getting out of school as soon as that is over. Because schools let you get out after your exams are done, thankfully. And then I'm done for the year. No more school. I had to go there. That's it. We're not going to do anything that day. You never do anything on the last day except for maybe help teachers pack. Which, call me weird, but I love helping the teachers pack. Because that's how you can tell I'm a, like... I'm a true hard-working man, true country boy, if you want to say that, but, um, may sound pretty stupid when I say this, but, I, I'm a true hard-working man when I say it. I prefer hard work over schoolwork, because that's just what I like. <laughs> Call me crazy, but I prefer lifting 100-pound boxes over writing a paragraph. That is just how I am. And I can move 100 pound boxes or 100 pound bales all day long. It will take me all day long to write that freaking paragraph. <laughs> it will. That's just how I am. Because I guess I'm going to blame it on the way my brain works. Is that if it's not interesting to me, I'm not really going to do it. I'll try to do it, but it won't be my best effort. I can promise you that. <laughs> That's probably why I'm so good at farming simulator and not so good at Minecraft. Because I love doing this in real life. Or I would love to do this in real life, I should say. And when it comes to Minecraft, it's the PvP, at, or the fighting part of Minecraft, I should say. I'm a little rusty at... Rust, rusty, I was never... I was never shiny at uh, PvP. But, um... Yeah, that's, that's probably why I don't do too much Minecraft. I just don't find it too interesting. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I still love Minecraft. I still love Minecraft for those Minecraft for my Minecraft viewers out there. Still love it. Um, just I prefer this game way much. Even though it takes a, it, 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 this game will take its toll on your PC, especially running um, running as fast as I am. Fast. Running on medium graphics like I am. Man, look at those wheels bouncing up. <laughs> Pretty good modeling there. But, um, as whenever you run any game on high, it'll take a toy on your computer. And this, this, this pretty much does it for my computer. Um, well, once I'm in the game for a while, it, my computer seems to uh, adjust. Like right now, you can probably hear, hear the uh, fans running on it. Maybe not. There. I was completely silent for you guys. Maybe you guys heard it. I don't know. Uh, I can never... I can never predict what you guys hear. Just because of my mic. And that's just... Any mic you can never predict what it's going to pick up. So, um... Yeah. Like, once you're in the... Once I'm in the game, my computer adjusts and I can... Like when I'm loading it up, um, I I can barely launch Google Chrome because it's just taking that much of a toll on my computer. Let's just get through here. That it just doesn't want to, it just doesn't want to launch Chrome, launch Google at least. But once I'm in game and playing around for a little bit, you know, a minute or two, it's fine. <clears throat> How did I even get on that topic? <laughs> the wonders of Redneck Gamer. Let's drop this and then we'll call it an episode. Might be a little short, I don't know. It kind of feels like it's a normal episode length. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Just a simple work in 
uh, while I'm reading comments and doing rambling about. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I'm the Gamer. See you all in the next video.